Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video, it's Hypno here, I really hope you enjoy and in today's video I'm gonna be playing my super strong new log bait creation and yeah I created this deck yesterday in my stream actually while I was pushing top ladder. I decided I'm gonna be yeah building a new variation and I came up with this deck which is like of course similar to my other variations but it's quite a little bit different and yeah I'm playing with the princess tower right here also so this deck is like so strong actually. It might replace um, my other two log bait decks which I have been playing for the whole season. Um, like this de log bait deck right here might replace these two for the rest of the season for me since there's only five days left in the season and this deck actually feels super strong. He tried to predict my princess right there with the cage so good that I didn't go for it. That's the second time he actually tried to predict the princess so I'm going to like Dart Goblin and then he's going to Fisher onto that, right? So I'm going to try to catch that with the gang. So, okay, he played it to the left. I wonder why, because if he played it to the right, it would have also taken out the Princess after taking out the Dart Goblin. So, okay, I guess he's just trying to go in with the Balloon. I have to make sure I block the Fisherman so my cannon survives and the Balloon doesn't fly straight to my tower. Unfortunately, that one bet survives. I'm going to go Dart Goblin like this to also pressure the right lane after defending. And hopefully, no, that got the second hit, man. I should have... Wait! Bro, I didn't even realize he messed up the evil cage, so that's a little bit of a mistake from both of us right there, since, like, um, if I played my Dark Goblin to the left lane instead of the right, I wouldn't have taken that second balloon hit, so I'm just keeping my Fire Spirit here. He gets one hit, I hope he won't get a hit, but it's also better for me to keep the Fire Spirit to tank for the Fake Barrel, because otherwise he could just ignore Okay, he goes for the Delivery, I still get the Fire Spirit jump onto the tower like splashing the tower while jumping onto the delivery and that snowball shouldn't be enough yeah and his cycle is super awkward now so he's definitely gonna bet right so i'm gonna predict that with my dart goblin perfect we catch that hopefully that survives perfect it does actually survive and with that pre pre prediction i get another princess hit onto his tower and i'm gonna make sure i start cycling back to my evil barrel since i feel like if i keep the pressure up very well he can't make any good balloon pushes and also he doesn't have anything good on offense to like take out my dart goblin when I defend with it since he only has snowball and miner but if I protect my dart goblin with like ice spirit gang or valk then he can't um yeah break through with the loon I feel like so I'm just gonna make sure I get back to my evil barrel perfect fire spirit right there wait that's on tower and the cage also goes to the right princess splashes the tower once he has to defend the um gang I'm always pressuring both lanes very well because that way my dart goblin gets infinite value in the middle and he actually tried to pull my dart goblin but I catch that with the ice spirit and right here it's definitely over right like there's no way he defends both lanes for sure so calling good game already and the fire spirit should jump perfect that cleans the bets up okay that's tower down right there pretty like good game right here i feel like i played very well besides taking that one unnecessary balloon hit on my left side so gg's right here and i'll see you guys in the next game we in the next game right here against anaban who has been playing a lot of evo pekka decks recently so let's see okay definitely still looks like evo pekka from him right here so just gonna okay wait like, I saw the evil symbol above the bomber and the goblin giant, so that means there's no way he actually has the evil Pekka since, yeah, evil goblin giant and evil bomber are gonna be his evils. So, uh, let's see how he's gonna be choosing to defend the Princess Valk. I'm not actually sure what deck he's running since I can't remember even facing, like, evil bomber, evil goblin giant together in one deck for the whole season. So, I have no idea what kind of deck he's playing. Just gonna set up my Dart Goblin to take out the Goblin Stein so that doesn't get onto my tower. He pops the ability just to take out the Princess, I guess. So let's see. Okay, he goes Guards. I don't think that's... Yeah, that wasn't enough, so he had to waste the Ice Wizard. Just make sure I distract the Doctor for a little bit. And guys, I'm actually so excited right now because I'm about to fly to Helsinki tomorrow. Like Finland Helsinki for World Finals, CRL World Finals. So... Um, yeah, this is actually the first year I'm managing to go there since all the years before, like I always had to watch from home because I was always busy with like school or work um, and never managed to go there. But this year I finally managed to go there. So I'm super excited to finally be, finally be going there. So, okay, no, he actually has tornado. I wonder why he didn't play that earlier. Like, of course, now he gets the free King Tower activation and that's going to be super annoying since like um the king tower help out, helps out so much always against the evil barrel of course since the king tower one hits the fake barrel the fake barrel goblins i should say so okay he goes ice with with right here honestly i'm just gonna go for my normal barrel the left and then fire spirit to cycle it's not really worth it to support with anything else since i would just give him too much of elixir lead and okay he goes sparky the bag interesting i guess just 
Goblin Giant Sparky with Tornado and also makes kind of sense with the Evo Bomber Tornado to get maybe like the Evo Bomber Nado lineup onto the tower. So just gonna make sure I get down a good defense right here. Princess the back is gonna be good since he only has Rage and um, Rage and Nado. So there's no way he can take out my Princess right here. He does go for a pretty decent Nado to take out everything, but I can just make sure I block the Sparky with the Fire Spirit and then get my Dart Goblin down and wait. I could activate the King Tower off the Bomber, so that was a terrible Bomber. Yeah, that's gonna activate, and Bomber is dead. He still has to defend the gang also, so very good for me forcing out that Bomber because he's not gonna have that for a long time. Ice Wizard is not gonna kill the Princess on the left, of course, so he has two guards, just Fire Spirit right here, and I don't even think I need to Cannon here since I'm forcing out stuff with the Barrel also, so he's not gonna go Goblin Giant in front, actually, so perfect defending without the Cannon since... With the Dark Goblin, I'm gonna get a counter push, unlike with the cannon. So I'm gonna make sure I go Princess the left because he still has to commit so much on the right. Okay, he plays a good Nado, but look at that Princess. Yeah, he's low on Elixir because, as I said, he still had to commit something on the right. And that way, my Princess actually got two hits right there, and he still has to waste three Elixir with the guard. So just gonna make sure I, yeah, get to my evil barrel. But I'm not gonna be playing it right here, honestly, yet because he's got the Bomber down. down. Okay, that's gonna wait. The Spear Goblins actually survive, and Princess should get another hit too. I do have the evil barrel right here once again it's not really worth it to support it i'm just gonna hope he like okay he actually every time decides to ignore the evil barrel completely so i'm just gonna make sure i force out a response on the right for sure otherwise he's gonna lose his tower of course and it's gonna be gg so i have to be a bit careful that he doesn't get like the nado onto my tower to get the sparky hit onto the tower i always want to okay perfect i did manage to um, block the Sparky shot and then freeze it with the Ice Spirit. So hopefully the Sparky doesn't hit here. Okay, perfect. The Sparky didn't even hit once. Princess instantly. I don't think he will expect it. Yeah, that's on tower. Hopefully that gets another hit. Barrel immediately. I just need like one or two. Yeah, two barrel hits right here. Okay, he gets the... Wait, the Dark Goblin! Okay, GG straight here against Anaban, man. Very nice game, honestly. Almost perfect defense the whole time. Plus 41 also and a magical chest. I'll take that. So GG's and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Gorico. So let's see what we can do against him since he's one of the best players in the world. He's gotten to world finals um, before and he's also gotten to world finals this year also. So let's see what we can do against him. And it's kind of interesting since I know in one day I'm going to be seeing him play live on stage, right? So I'm um, kind of interesting to play against him right here. He has to go for Hawk since he didn't have any like one elixir cards and cycle to defend my fire spirit and unfortunately he gets a good ability down right here but that was overall a good defense for me since i didn't take any hawk hits without even having to use my cannon but yeah ability did a very good job for him man the goblin sign is like still so broken it's like almost good and or usable in any deck and still has like the highest use usage rate out of any card in the game even though it's just recently gotten released and not everyone has it maxed. So hopefully my princess splashes. Okay, it doesn't splash the tower, unfortunately. I hope the princess would hit the cracker and splash the tower, but unfortunately not. Just make sure I get down my ice spirit to keep the hawk in place to make sure I don't take any hits right here. And yeah, I really want the activation on like of the king tower against the cracker, but um, unfortunately, yeah, my princess still took out the cracker. Okay, wait, what was that cannon? Maybe he lagged right there. Um, I don't know why he would play the cannon so late. Probably just a lag from him, honestly. So, gonna go barrel um, in front. And, okay, wait, that's also a late lock. So, there's no way that he's not lagging right here. Like, that's definitely lag from him for sure. Okay, he goes for the um, ice spirit to defend the fire spirit. And, okay, wait, look at my spectator. He's putting the lag emote and the hawk question mark. So, I'm just gonna make sure I go for this because he has no lock in cycle. And look at that. That's gonna be so much damage from the dark goblin, actually. So, I'll definitely, yeah. That's so much damage right there. Nice voice crack, by the way, right there. So um, I'm just going to make sure I get the Ice Spirit in front of the Spear Goblins and Fire Spirit. So the Doctor can hopefully die right here. But okay, it's going to survive. Doesn't matter, though. I can just cannon Dark Goblin because, yeah, he goes to Q with the, cat, with the Dark Goblin. I just make sure he still gets no hits, of course. And that's good damage with the barrel on the right side, actually. Just going to make sure I predict the crack at the middle. So... It doesn't take out my Dart Goblin if he plays it, and he still has to defend that, of course. Okay, he decides to go Cracker the right. I was gonna say the Dart Goblin is gonna make so much damage if he lets that connect. I have to make sure I protect my Princess. Okay, I'm just gonna go Cannon to block the Cracker head and defend the Hawk, of course. Then Gang to take out the Cracker. Perfect. Cracker's dead. Princess actually survived, so just Fire Spirit in front right here. He wasted the log, so I can go in... Okay, wait, I can go in like this, and depending on what he plays... 
Okay, he played the Goblin Stein right here. I'm um, honestly, I'm not even gonna barrel. He's gonna have to ability right here. I'll just go Princess to left, try to predict the Cracker again. And okay, there's his Cracker. Unfortunately, he plays it in that placement where my prediction doesn't really do anything since the Princess still dies. I hoped he would play it in the middle, but unfortunately not. Hopefully I can finally... Okay, now nah, I don't get the King Tower activation right Yeah, That's my bad too, because I played my cannon too high um, by accident and that way... Okay, wait, I have to just get another cannon down. He tried to log predict, wait, he doesn't have anything for the barrel, so it's annoying that I don't have my King Tower activated, but right here I can activate it for sure. I'm just gonna pressure him with Dark Goblin and Fire Spirit because he has no log in cycle. There's the Stein again, okay, and like that's gonna activate for sure, so we finally get the King Tower activation. Just gang split. Okay, I have to go cannon too. That's on tower. Yeah, I get one goblin hit. I have to make sure the hawk hopefully doesn't connect right here. Okay, that might get one hit. And oh, that actually didn't get a hit. That's huge because like, okay, wait, there's the next hawk. I have to get my bulk done. Okay, ice spirit doesn't jump, unfortunately. He does have ego cracker and cycle, but okay, wait. Yeah, that's the cracker. I have to go gang high, make sure that doesn't get another hit onto my tower. So I feel like I'm still good. And the cracker actually died, which is huge. So... Okay, that's gonna be more damage actually. That's huge damage. He has to be super careful. Okay, the Nado of the Valk is unfortunately not on tower, so that's a little bit annoying. Okay, wait, now it's on tower. He's EQ cycling, but I just have to make sure the Hawk. Okay, perfect Goblin Gang predict onto the Hawk right there. The Cracker should die. Okay, Cracker's still alive, but look at that barrel on the right. I'm just gonna make sure I pressure him again so he can't like protect his doctor and go Hawk, of course. And wait, the Princess. I just need one more Princess hit. That's gonna hit. Okay, GG's right here against Squeako actually. Pretty nice win. I don't know what he was doing right there with that one cannon and log. I'm just assuming he lagged right there, honestly. So, GG's and I'll see you guys. Oh, wait. I could actually drop, open up this drop right here real quick. And, okay, probably nothing since we get the three-star drop. And wait, okay, one legendary wild card is not too bad. I'll take it. GG's and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Scythe, so let's see what Scythe is playing. This guy plays a lot of Golem normally, but Golem is like so bad in the... Yeah, he's playing P.E.K.K.A. now too. Golem is so bad in the current meta because of all the evil P.E.K.K.A. decks, so there was like no way he's playing Golem honestly, so let's see. Like, he's waiting so long, I'm assuming he's gonna Fisherman since like... Yeah, he goes... Wait, that's gonna go to the opposite lane though, so kind of a bad Fisherman. Whenever they wait so long to defend the Princess, they most likely go Fisherman onto it, trying to support the Pekka also with the Fisher. I'm just gonna make sure I protect my cannon with the Fire Spirit. Perfect Fire Spirit. He can't really take out the... Okay, he just goes for the arrows, but Valk is gonna clean up like everything. I don't even have to gang once I can afford it, I think, because yeah, Valk cleans up everything, so I can just keep my gang and... Um, yeah, I haven't played my barrel once yet because he just played that early P.E.K.K.A. and I didn't really have the chance to, so I'm just gonna make sure I start cycling to my Evo barrel in a moment once I hit 10 Elixir, um, since, yeah, I still need to play one more barrel after this to get to it, so I'm probably not even able to get it before double Elixir, which is a bit annoying because I feel like in single Elixir you can always get a good situation with the Evo barrel, but now I'm not managing to do that, so... Just, yeah, Fire Spirit, make sure the Ghost doesn't get too much damage onto my tower. Um, and, like, gets visible before reaching my tower, right? He gets one Bomber hit. He's up. No, I'm up damage on the right. I only looked at the left for a moment, so I'm actually up. But I can go for my Princess now because, like, he has to defend that, of course. And it takes his ability away to use all of his Elixir behind the Evo Pekka, of course. And just like that, I got two Princess hit. hits. He doesn't have arrows and cycles, so I should be fine with a cannon. Okay, I think I slipped my cannon too high again. I mean, he doesn't have the cracker or anything, so it doesn't matter really, but it's still a little bit annoying. My cannon should be one placement um, lower than that, so... Okay, just fire spirit, make sure his P.E.K.K.A. doesn't get onto my tower, and I'm honestly gonna princess and not even gonna Daryl, since, like, I feel like... Okay, yeah, look at that. That's gonna be two hits from the Princess, even though he goes for the Fisher. So, perfect Princess right there. And now I can still go for the Barrel. He has to defend that, and I'm honestly just gonna Dark Goblin. Okay, he, he went for the Arrows, so I should even be able to get to another Dark Goblin before he gets back to his Arrows. So, I'm just gonna be going very aggressive right here, make sure I get back to the Dark Goblin. I also get the Evo Barrel down, of course, and okay, th that was a very good kite, honestly. So, um, like, his P.E.K.K.A. is... Yeah, still not crossing the bridge, and he got a good Goblin Stein right there, right there for sure, but that's kind of a bad bandit, because look at that pull from the cannon. Yeah, Ice Spirit 2, perfect defense, hopefully, that doesn't even normally connect onto my cannon, so that was kind of clean right there. Gonna make sure I pressure both lanes, hopefully the Fire Spirit... Now, the Fire Spirit doesn't go in front, man. 
With the Fire Spirit tank for the Dark Goblin, his tower would have been below 1000 HP right here for sure. I'm just gonna let the ghost connect because it's not worth it to distract it with anything. I have to make sure I defend the evil Pekka well. Pressure with the barrel while he's going in. Okay, wait, he used his arrows, he still has to defend, he gets the rage down. I'm just gonna make sure I get another cannon down for the um, Ram Rider so it doesn't get onto my tower. And it's also gonna defend the Pekka. I'm not even gonna activate my King Tower right here, it's just more worth it to go for a high Valk and then pressure him with the evil barrel. I feel like it's GG's, like there's no way he defends both lanes. Okay, wait, it's over. He can't stop the right lane because, wait, 1 HP! <laughs> Bro, that was 1 HP on the left lane, man. <laughs> what an insane game right here against Scythe. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed the video with my new log bait creation. Make sure to try this deck out. It's actually super strong for sure. So, um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate that, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye!